Hello everybody, my name is Tamilola Mike Pamiloye and I'm here to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notifications and updates on new movies that will be dropping from time to time. So if you've subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing and if you're not, please subscribe. I am a Nigerian. I reunited with my wife and little daughter two years ago. They have been living in the United States for five years. Her name is Sarah Billows. I have the anointing and the calling of God upon my life. So I guess it is okay. If you call me Pastor. See, baby. Don't call me that again. What do I call you? Tunde Belows. Anyways, you know it's $120 an hour. Say what? You heard me. $120 an hour. So, those that spend the whole night, how do they call? You want to go the whole night? No, 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 no. Just in one hour, I will be done. I should be done. You see, you just open your mouth and call the price. Give me the privilege to name my price. Let me cut it down. So how much is it? $120 an hour. Is it a fixed price? Who fixed it? And where is your price tag? Be flexible now. You just hold on the price and see if it is one serious business we are talking here. Ordinary runs get business. Or is it economic meltdown that is also affecting your body? Now you're getting on my nerves. Are you in or out? Smile. Smile now. $115? That's all I have for now. Okay. Let's go have fun. No. It is called fornication. Call it whatever you like. It's a free country. Follow me. Let's go.
Okay, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Mr. Billows, an hour goes by so fast, so are we doing this or what? Yeah. It looks somehow. I don't get it. Don't you think we are too far apart? Now you're talking. So that action will speak for itself. Okay. Come closer. Um, you see? Um, I think we need to get to know each other better. I'm a prostitute trying to do my job. That's all you need to know about me. As an assistant pastor of a small church, before I get to counsel anyone, I usually get to know the person better. Because it makes the work of counseling effortless. Please allow me to know you better so that this show of shame can come easily. For me, this is purely business and not a show of shame. There's nothing shameful in this. I'm only trying to make a dime and I got to get some fun while doing it. Oh, please. Like you know the difference. What exactly is your problem? Are you impotent or am I unattractive? Unattractive. Excuse you. And also distracting. Look at yourself. Do you attract you? Your makeup is too excessive. Even your dress is too revealing. Because I'm a prostitute. I'm dressed for my job. Okay. As for me, decent, responsible, and well-dressed ladies attract me. Like your church ushers? Don't insult me, lady. Don't insult me. I'm, try I'm trying to teach you how to be a good prostitute. And now you are insulting me. The pastor teaching me my job? What is this word coming to? So why exactly are you here? And what exactly do you want? My wife. Ah, she pushed me to the wall. She is building a career for herself and tearing me down. She has become the husband and I have turned into the wife. Ah, I have the call of God to be his minister. When I was single, I was known all over the country. Even my reputation spilled over to the U.S. here. I know you must have heard my name. You mean T. Baby? For God's sake, stop that. Pastor T. Baby. Does that even sound right? Everyone here knows you as T-Baby, Teeny Baby. If that is not your name, then I haven't heard your name. My future was great. My destiny was bright. And my focus was sharp. Wow. But here I am today. About to sacrifice my integrity on the laps of an usher from air. Hello, I'm still here. Oh, sorry. I was carried away just like my wife carried away the bright future that God has for me and replaced with the future she has for herself. She wanted me to be subject to her dreams by all means. Hmm. When I was single, I saw the warnings, signs, but I thought love covers it all. I was a fool. Now, this is what my wife has pushed me to do. I hereby surrender my body on the altar of immorality and infidelity. You can have me now.
My hands are aching me. You can undress me. Huh? Pastor? I really think you have some screws loose. What? Where do you think you are going? Your time is up. The show is over. My sister. There was no show. My brother, you were the show. Hmm. I remember when I was a kid. A preacher used to come by the house to preach to me, my brothers and sisters. That in the last days, many Christians and pastors will fall away from God into their sins. I guess he was talking about people like you. I came for counseling. Please take a seat. <clears throat> Can I ask you a question? I'm listening. If you find yourself in a wrong examination hall, writing a wrong paper for an exam you prepared or you studied so hard for, what will you do? I don't think I understand your question, sir. Okay. Do I walk out of the examination or, or I struggle to finish a failed exam? See, I'm asking you this question because I made a lifetime mistake by marrying a wrong person. Do I walk out of the marriage or I struggle to make it work? Mr. Tunde Billows, I suspect you know the answer to your question. If I did, I wouldn't be here. Well, the decision is yours. You either run out of the examination hall in shame or you continue to write an already failed exam. If you can't provide answers to my question, why are you a counselor? Some answers are not gotten from counselors. You have to sit with your wife and talk. This is an internal affair. That's if she would listen. She has got two years, but they are both busy. Okay. Did you drop the keys under the carpet this time? I did. Good. Because yesterday you forgot and I was locked out of my own house for two hours waiting for you to come back. Yesterday I was held up here and I have been trying to explain this to you over and over again. True test message? But why can't you pick all my calls? I have told you this before. My line of work does not have time to engage in meaningless discussions. And besides, I know it's going to end with screaming and nagging as usual. 
Your daughter is dying in the hospital. Tell me, please. What kind of meaningless life is this? I spoke with her yesterday. She heard my voice yesterday. Come on. Can your voice hold her hands? Can your voice caress her hair? Can your voice look into her eyes? Come on. Keep your ugly voice to yourself and get out of here for God's sake. I believe we're done. You can either leave or you wait for me to call security. Wait. Wait. We are talking about your daughter here. She needs you. We need you. I visited your daughter five times this week and each time she sees me, she keeps asking for her mom. What do you want me to tell her? Tell her mommy is fine. You want me to tell your daughter you are fine when you are sick? Mr. Tunde Billows, your session is over. Please leave. Mrs. Sarah Billows, my session is not only over, but the day you entered into my life, it was over. Good day. See, Tunde, um, I organized a good girl for you. A very decent girl. A prostitute? So that you can enjoy yourself and have a good time and enjoy your night, but you keep talking about your frustrations and the history of your ministry. Are you out of your mind? You see, sometimes I feel like getting white and getting loose and do all those nasty stuffs. Nasty? Nasty stuff? You call them nasty? They are not nasty stuffs. So, what are they? <laughs> they are just stuffs. And what will people say? You shouldn't care. Is it not the song of your child that says, It doesn't matter what the people say. My friend, come on me. Come on me. You care. You don't care about what people say. What does it matter anyway? I mean, first of all, Oh, today come of that. You? Yeah. A pastor? <laughs> Who attend you? Assistant pastor. See, today, hearing about your wife, all the nasty things she does disgusts me. And I tell you, that lady, that woman you call your wife, she's evil. She is evil. She's not. It is the devil. I have organized a lady, a very decent lady, to take good care of you so that you can forget about all this, your trouble, but I, I don't know what's wrong with you. Roland, I... Roland, forget it. You and I know that your definition of the word decent is impaired. Oh, my friend, uh, this time is not a process. I am done. Done? You want to give up? Roland, I am done. By the way, when are you going to get settled? You are really getting old. Today, me, settle down. Are you said to yourself? Yeah, I have said to. <laughs> I have said to down. To the boy. Said to? No, 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 no. You are not said to. I, if it is done, I, I know you are really, really done. I think I'll. Mm. I will see you in the office tomorrow. Uh -uh. Uh, so quick, you are leaving me? Okay, well. If I'm running late tomorrow, you cover for me. No. You are your own. Uh -uh. You won't cover for your due? Uh. Dad? Yes, baby. Where is mom? Your mom is fine. Dad? Yes? I remember a song my friend taught me. You want to hear it? Yes, of course. Don't give up. It's not over. When you give up, then it's over. Hold on to the Lord and let Him lead you on. Because when you stand, it's not over. I love you, baby. I love you too, Dad. I love you.
Thank you, Mama. It's been a while since I heard something like this. Eh? You mean my daughter has not been preparing for the year for you? She's been busy. Sarah, why haven't you been preparing this for your husband? Like he said, I have been busy. I see. I see. Anyway, how is Dolapa? Your elder sister is fine. In fact, our company gave her an offer to come and work in America. But she declined this. Really? That was stupid. Didn't you advise her? She told them that if her husband and her children will not come along with her, then they should keep their offer. That's so like the lack mm. Anyway, Mom, what brings you here? Mm -hmm. I had a dream. <laughs> you mean you came all the way from Nigeria just to come tell me about a dream? I came all the way from Nigeria to come and give you a warning. Both of mm. you. Mm. Both of you. Not from me, but from the Lord. Mm. I saw this house on fire. I saw casualties. I saw both of you crying. Mommy. No fire extinguisher could stop the fire that I saw in my dream. But you could have called me on the phone so that we would discuss the dream. Two of you cannot stop the fire that I saw in my dream. And that is why I'm here to fight with you. Mommy, we are fine. We don't need you here with us right now. We're oh. doing okay. You are doing fine? Yes, mommy, we are fine. Tundi. Mommy. Your wife said you are doing fine. She did? Is she right? Tundi. Yes, she's right. It is well. Super what? A uh, supermarket mall. Okay. okay. Supermarket mall. Mm. Okay. Market mall. Yes. Okay. okay. Just give me five minutes. Mm -hmm. We go to supermarket mall. Spiritually sick. And if care is not taken, the devil will have him. Yes, it starts with spiritual sickness and end with death. 
Tunde. Hmm. If you and your wife don't rise up and become one, the enemy may steal your daughter. Fight now before it is too late. Fight. Mama, we are fine. <laughs> there is so much heat in that house. Your pretense can't fool me. And definitely, it can't fool God. If one of you is asleep, there be hope. But when two of you are deep in sleep, who will wake you up when the fire comes? Hmm. Tunde, son, wake up now and wake up your wife. Because the fire I saw in that dream hmm, was an uncontrollable one. Mama, I'm very sorry to say this, but I think you are taking this dream too far. You are taking it too far. This is America. Things are not as drastic as they are back home. It is obvious now that the church you attend in Nigeria is having great influence on your perception of things. Tundi, what are you saying? It is obvious. In your church that you attend back home, is fire burn this, fire consume that. If fire burn everything, what will remain? <laughs> right from the day you came to our house, you started seeing fire. Calling fire. In our room, fire. Kitchen, fire. Everywhere in the house, fire. See, I'm very sure even during the snow, when everyone is cold, you will see fire. Can we move? Hmm. It is well. Thank you so much, sir, for giving me this privilege to see you in such a very short time. Um, no problem. Pastor called me that you called him for counseling, but he's not available. So he asked me to take up the mantle. Um, you're a new member of our church. Yes, sir. Um, but not to the Lord. Sir, what's up? So I've been going through a very serious uh, marital challenge and crisis. Um, a few years ago, my wife started hanging out with some women. They corrupted her. They influenced her and she stopped going to church. She stopped praying with me. And all of a sudden, she suddenly saw me as a devil. The situation was becoming very embarrassing when I left my other church. I've tried to win her many times, but she seems to be getting worse all the time. Trust me, James. I think I can relate with what you are passing through. But let me tell you this. There is light at the end of the tunnel. I believe. I see your family. If only. <sighs> I love your family, sir. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, James. So I've prayed to God several times to make my home like you. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. <coughs> um, a few weeks ago, I saw your wife's face in the front cover of a magazine. You challenged me. Mm -hmm. I picked up the magazine and I knelt down and prayed to God to make my wife like yours. Hmm. Wow. Okay. As flattering as that is, it is always best to use the word of God as a standard. Yes, I know. But it doesn't hurt to use someone as a point of contact. I can't argue with that. I hope you are seeing positive changes. 
No, sir. No. It's getting worse. And keep on praying, my brother. Even if you don't see any result, keep on praying. So it will interest you to know that I heard she's sleeping around. That's terrible. People tell me that they see her with different men. So, what do you want me to do? I have come for your advice, sir. Do you know it is not a sin if you move on? She has broken the marriage vow. But Pastor Tunde, the vow I made to God in the marriage altar was in sickness and in health. She's spiritually sick. I think this is a test of her marriage vows. You are still holding on to a woman who is turning your life into a mess. So I'm holding on to a woman who will turn my life into a message. Tell me one man who has done what you are doing now. Hosea. Who is he? He's a very good friend of mine. I would like to meet him. Unfortunately, he's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. But you can read about him in the Bible. Oh, you mean Prophet Hosea? Yes. God told Prophet Hosea to get married to a prostitute because he wanted to pass a message to the world. A message to people like me. Remove the prostitute from Hosea's life and his purpose is gone. James, you want my advice? Move on. Yes, sir, I do, but I want to fight for it. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, Husbands, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Christ did not come for a perfect bride. He came for a messed up bride. God hates divorce. So, are you here for canceling? Or you came here to cancel me? Don't kill yourself before your time, my friend. Now tell me, what will happen if you see one of those guys that she messes around with? So, why are you shaking me? This is how I'm going to shake the hands of the man I meet. And I will tell him, thank you for making me stronger. Have a good day, sir. Okay, hold on. Yes, my number. Keep me posted. That's right. Thank you, sir. See the Croatian teenager Anna Kunja in straight sets to reach the last four of a Grand Slam for the first time. Simon Kassen, BBC News. Well, after playing on Wednesday, Serena Williams is back in action later Tindy. as she continues that pursuit of a 23rd Mama, Grand your wife is not yet back. No, Mama, she is not. She left this house 6 o'clock in the morning and it's around 10 30 late in the night and she's not yet back. That's how America is. Everyone is busy. Busy. Too busy for even play. It is well. Good night. All right, Mama. Good night. Father, in the name of Jesus. I surround this house with Holy Ghost fire. Hey, brother. Hey, man, where are you? Fire! Oh. Fire! Fire of the Holy Ghost! Fire of the is your house on fire? My house is not fire on fire. Burn. Holy Ghost fire burn every work on that. Who is burning? Fire burn. Who is the TV? Fire of the Holy Ghost burn. Your TV is on fire? The noise is from the TV. Today receive fire. Sarah receive fire. Who is setting you on fire? My TV. Ah. Your TV is setting you on fire? That's crazy. Today, what's going on with you? Something has been going on with you lately. What do you want? Well, <laughs> you gotta get here right now because the clock too is on fire, man. Fire, what? Fire, what? 
Holy Ghost fire, what? Now I can see that the club is really on fire. And this is how you always waste your life now and then. Today, see, I'm a player. I'm a player. And the kind of life that I live sometimes is frustrating to me myself. Uh, sometimes I can't help it. I can't help it. But this lifestyle will take you to hell. Uh, I tell them, see, I tell them, I even beg them, but they will not listen. Who? Uh, the ladies, the ladies, they keep coming. And sometimes I wonder why God himself made me so irresistible. Roland, sometimes I wonder if you ask yourself some questions. Like, what is your purpose in life? Oh, <laughs> if it is purpose, to spread love. To spread love. You can ask the ladies. They can testify that I spread love. I distribute it every day. Hmm. By the way, so, why am I here today? Oh, today, have you forgotten? You forgot that I told you that tonight, I'm gonna hook you up with a lady. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's serious. Roland, please, this time around, you've got to be careful. Please, please, I beg you. Don't tell her any ministerial story of yours. Those thoughts, I tell you, can, can put away ladies. And please, I beg you, don't ruin this opportunity this time. Okay? Please. She's coming now. Hi guys. Hey baby, how are you Clara? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Yeah, um, my friend, today, you see, meet my friend Mr. Today Billows, the guy you have been dying to meet. Stop it. I tell you, okay, Mr. Billows, this is Clara, and I'm going to clear out of your way right now. You guys can enjoy yourself and uh, while I clear, and uh, if you don't mind, Clara, thank you. I take a bow. Hey. Hi. I'm a straightforward kind of girl, so I'm just gonna come out with it straight. I like older men. And so? I think they are hot. I think you're hot. I am married. You're married, but you're not happy. Well, I am. No, you're not. Why such conclusion? Look, I've been checking you out on Facebook and yeah, your status says you're married, but your pictures say something totally different. I know all there is to know about you. You are a frustrated man. I am not. Okay, baby, calm down. I didn't come over here to fight with you. Don't call me baby. Okay. Oh, I get it. You want me to call you daddy. You obviously don't recognize your father. <laughs> Look, from the first time that I saw you, I just knew that there was something between us. And you're the kind of guy that I'd like to spend my time with. You're so uptight. You need to loosen up. Look, we don't even have to define this relationship. Let's just take it easy, hang out, and see where it leads us. I don't even know you. Let's take baby steps, baby. Baby steps. This really looks strange to me because I don't know you. Oh, we can fix that. Pass me your napkin. Come on, give it to me. All right, so what I'm going to do is give you my number. Call me anytime and get to know me. Okay.
and I come in. So what are you doing? Trying to finish up something I brought back from the office. Sarah, you are always too busy for me. For the past six months now, you have carved this room out for yourself alone. And you have a problem with that? Yes, Sarah. Even when you are in our room, you made your body a no-go area for me. Please, I do not have the energy nor the time for your nagging tonight. We have gone over this issue several times and I do not want to talk about it again tonight. Ah, besides, you make it look as if I've never allowed you to touch me. No, no, I never said that. I never said that. But this is not fear. This is not fear. Okay, when was the last time you allowed me to have you? I don't keep a diary of such things. But I do. Ah, yes. Okay, tell me. It was the day you came back from your uncle's birthday. That night, I told you you had a new perfume on. You remember? It was July 18th. Then there is definitely a serious problem. You see? With you. Since you have started learning how to keep record of the last time you slept with your wife. Oni, I never meant to upset you. By the way, you look so beautiful tonight. You smell nice. You bought a new perfume? Please, I need some sleep tonight. I had a very busy day at the office. Please, just excuse me. Just excuse me. I said I need some sleep. Oni, you have no idea what I'm going to. My dear, you're a pastor. Go read your Bible and learn how to control yourself. Welcome. Mom. Mom. What are you doing up so late? You ought to be sleeping. I was sleeping. The sound of your car woke me up. You are welcome. Thank you, Mom. Lady. Yes, Mom. Is this how you people live here? Eh? Ah. I've only seen you three or four times preparing food for your husband. Mm. He has always been eating noodles or conflicts or bring food from the office. He came earlier today with food from the restaurant and now see is eating conflicts for dinner. And here you are, you are just coming at this time without even asking him if he has eaten or not. You are going up there to go and sleep. Mommy, did he complain? No. That's it. Because he understands. We are all so busy here, Mommy. This is not a point of concern in our family. Besides, if he's hungry, he knows where to get the food. Mom, I don't like the way you're making it seem like I'm neglecting my family. Lady, I'm sorry. But this issue that I raised is of paramount importance to your family. Mama, leave I alone. 
She will soon understand. There is nothing to understand. I am busy, you are busy, and you know it. Good night, Mom. Hello? Good morning. Who is this? Oh, Daddy, you don't know my voice? Oh, <laughs> Clara. There we go. And how did you get my number? Police, I can't believe you're asking me that question in this day and age. Besides, I already told you. I'm a girl who knows how to get what she wants. I'm glad you picked my call. I didn't know it was you. Whatever. So, I was thinking, we need to hang out. I am a very busy man. Come on, Daddy. Sarah, what were you doing late yesterday night? Tell me. For God's sake, Mom, is that why you're blocking my path? I've told you one of the counselors didn't show up, and I had to take her shift. Sarah, shift away this shift before it shifts you to hell. What? How important is this job to you anyway? Is it so important than your husband? Is it more important than your children? Hey, will this work grant you access to heaven? Mom, I am tired of you trying to run my life. Hmm. I am a grown woman here. That is the point. Sarah, you have no life. This is not life. Open your eyes and see for yourself if you have one. Mommy, you are overstepping your boundaries here. And I don't like it. Hold on. You, are really you know what? Overstepping your boundaries. Let's talk later. I will call you back. You promise? Yes, I promise. I'll call you back. Your daughter is sick. Your husband is miserable. And here you are, walking up and down, carrying one useless briefcase as if it will guarantee you access to heaven. Mommy, that is it. I'm buying you your ticket and you're going back to Nigeria this night. You are casting me out of your house? Sarah, you are casting me out of your house? Not only my house, but also from my life. We were okay before you came. Sarah. I can't take this anymore. Sarah. Sarah. I don't need her. Sarah. I don't need her. Sarah. What? I think that was a foolish way to talk to your mom. One more word. One more word. I swear I will divorce you. And let's see what becomes of your miserable life. Hear me! Hello? Hello? Is everything okay? Yes, everything is okay. I will call you back, okay? Thank you. That was definitely strange. Please don't go. Please. It is well. My daughter said I should go home. Mama, ignore the behavior of my wife. Ignore. Mm. It is well. It's too late already. A taxi man will soon be here. Ha, ha, Mama. Mama. It is well today.
Doctor, good afternoon, how are you? What? Mr. Chani, she's still very busy. She asked that you leave a message with me. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. You can't go in. She's still busy. You're just an adorable princess. Look at that. Sarah! Roland, what are you Today? doing with your wife? It's not what you think. Your wife? It's not. This woman is your wife? No, what you think. This woman? She's your wife? Today? 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 Wait. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, Sarah. What happened? Are you okay? Ah. I'm sorry about Esther. Very painful. Ah, I was at the airport when I received Sarah's call. She was crying, so I had to turn back. Talk to me, son. What is happening? Excuse me, Mama. Today, what is going on? Out of my way, Mama. Talk to me, son, please. I am leaving. To, to, to where? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Tunde, mama, Tunde, you can't do that. Your daughter will tell you. Tunde. Your daughter will tell you, Tunde. Mama. Sorry. 
Sorry cannot bring back my daughter. Your sorry cannot bring back my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh Lord. Ah. The devil has started. He has started the fire. Oh. That will consume this home. Ah. My God. My God. You are the consuming fire. Oh, you are. Ooh. You are the consuming fire. The fire that consumes all oh, the fire. Oh, you are great. You are mighty. Oh, you are big. Oh, my God. Sit and tremble at the mention of your name. Oh. God, you have given my Lord Jesus that name above all other name. Under the name of Jesus, ooh, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. Yes, that my Lord Jesus, my Lord Jesus is Lord. Yes, you are God. Oh, you are God. You are God. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I knew you would call. I know you will pick. <laughs> so what's up? I want um I want us to hang out. Okay, so this evening? No. This afternoon. This afternoon? Are you so desperate to see me? But well, that's cool. I'll text you where to meet me, okay? I will call you back. I will call you back. Okay. All right. I'm sending you a text. Bye. I knew we can resist. Sure. Good afternoon. Can we enter? No. Today, this is not you. What? Me, the new me. Not a single word from your mouth. Tell her. Mama, tell her. Not a single word. If you still want my door open, then tell her to keep her mouth shut. Two wrongs don't make a right. Let's lay this matter on the master's feet. It's already at my feet. And you, Sarah, thank you. Thank you. That is what is left of my miserable life. Don't give the devil a chance, son. She gave the devil a chance when she made the first move in this game. And I'm going to prove to her that two can play this dirty game. She has changed today. 
She has repented. And I have an appointment. Mama, your time is up. Can we pray together? No. Today. Goodbye. Pastor Tunde, it's me. I know James. How are you? I'm fine. I heard what happened to your daughter. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I have moved on. I wish I could see you, Pastor Tunde. I am slightly busy now. I have an appointment. So, what's up? I, I just felt you need some company. When I heard about the news of your daughter, it broke my heart. Forget about it. I'm fine. Are you sure is anything I can do for you? Nothing. Okay. It is well with you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. Thanks. How's your wife? Well, she's worse. In fact, she's actually avoiding me. But I got a plan. Really? Oh, yes. I intend to get her a golden ring and a beautiful flower. I plan to surprise her today. A golden ring? How can you afford that? Well, I want to finance one. But if I can't, I would dive into my savings and get her one. Do you know where she is? Well, I don't know where she is, but I will look for her and I will find her. All the sacrifices for a woman like that, I respect you. In fact, you are a strong man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you sure you don't want me to come over? Trust me, I'm good. I'm hanging out with a friend. Just take it easy. God is in control. Yeah, sure. Alright. Bye. I'm loving this new you. <laughs> Service. Look at the door. Room service. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need it. James, what are you doing here? Stop today. says if my people who are called by my name 
will humble themselves and seek my face and pray. You said you will heal their land. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you, Lord. Ooh. We have ignored your warnings and forsaken your instructions. You are rich in mercy. You are rich in mercy and great in wonders. The devil's hand is to set fire in every home all over the world. But Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we cease the fire. We cease the fire in Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, your word says, your word says, let there be light, and there was light, yes Lord, yes Lord, I therefore decree, and I declare, that darkness ends for be gone. Be gone. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Quench this fire, O oh Lord. Quench this fire, O oh Lord. And stop. And stop this raging pain. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I come in? Yes, you can. Um, uh, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know where to, where to start. Uh, or, uh, Pastor Tunde. Thank you. No. James, please, no, no. Thank you for making me stronger. Sunday, I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you from the bottom of my heart. It's okay. It's okay.
Can we start all over? I would love that. Hello? Hi, nice to meet you. I am Today Billows. And I am Sarah Billows. Can I come in? Please take the lead. I would rather you walk beside me. Really? 